one of my first acts will be to get all of the drug lords, all of the bad ones. We have some bad, bad people in this country that have to go out. We're going to get them out. We're going to secure the border. And once the border is secured, at a later date, we'll make a determination as to the rest. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. Immigration courts in the United States have more than 800,000 pending cases that each takes 700 days to process. This means that it would be impossible, if not a monumental effort, to come to the United States legally, which is why there are so many illegal immigrants in the U.S. In 2016, there were 10.7 million undocumented immigrants in the United States. The number of immigrants in the United States has inflated since 1990, with foreign-born residents now comprising more than 15% of the U.S. population. However, immigration is not specific to the United States. Not far to the east, Europe is having problems of its own. In 2007, the International Organization for Migration estimated that around 4.6 million African migrants lived in Europe. This is mostly due to the fact that there are many ongoing wars in Africa, such as the Libyan Civil War and the Central African Republic War. Because of these wars and other disharmonies around the world, many conflicts result in immigration. While legal immigration may not be a national emergency, illegal immigration proves to be an ongoing issue with many different positive and negative effects. The United States President Donald Trump is spending roughly $3.2 billion and pushing to spend up to $5 billion on the resources needed to build a wall for isolating the United States in hopes of deterring illegal immigrants for entrance. Building the wall could potentially damage the United States economy and the lives of many foreigners who work in the U.S. illegally. This is due to the fact that the vast majority of illegal immigrants work on the produce farms in California. If these immigrants were legal, the corporations that hired them would legally have to pay them more than 30% of what they're getting paid now. The United States authorized immigrants to make up 24% of the maids and cleaners and occupation expected to need 112,000 more workers in 2024. While immigration numbers continue to climb higher and higher, it's not just the United States, but varying countries around the world. The United States is one of the biggest home to immigrants, hosting about 48 million immigrants in 2015. Russia, Saudi Arabia, Germany, and the UK hosting between 8 and 11 million immigrants as well. Immigrants come from anywhere over the world and are people that are usually trying to escape from poverty and find better opportunities for themselves and their families. As these dreadful factors continue to intensify, immigration numbers will continue to grow and unfortunately there is not much hope in these numbers slowing down anytime soon. The illegal immigration problem in the U.S. has evolved into a crisis over the past few years for both sides of the situation. For years now, both political parties in the U.S. have tried to repair the immigration system and have ultimately failed. Now, with a physical border on the way, it is difficult to deny that immigration is a national emergency. The people in power may delay illegal immigrants, but at the end of the day, they will always find a way to cross over, and illegal immigrants already in the U.S. will be an even bigger problem to face. Many ask how to fix the illegal immigration problem, when the question that should be asked is how do we create an environment in which immigration is a positive aspect of our society.